Today's date is January 3rd, 2019. My name is Jim Shunk. I am a student on the Associate of Arts program with College for America at Southern New Hampshire University, and I'm conducting this interview as part of my academic work. This recorded interview will be submitted for College for America so that my work as an interview can, interviewer can be evaluated. This recording will be used solely for this purpose. Do you have any questions? No. Do you give consent to be interviewed and recorded? Yes, I, Micah Sayavich, give my informed consent to participate in this interview to be recorded and used as part of the student's academic evaluation. All right, so with that, um, we're going to begin this interview. Um, can you describe a uh, interpersonal conflict that happened at work? Sure, so I was, uh, when I was working at a car dealership, we had a car salesman who went to a different company and then came back. Um, someone who I didn't particularly care for, and of course, he got stuck at my desk with me. We shared desks. Um, and I noticed over time that he was just real icy. Just very, very... Yeah, I was going to say, describe what you mean by that. Yeah. I was, I'm not no, sure. He was he, not very friendly towards me. Definitely towards others. You could say just observing, but for some reason just had some sort of an issue with me. Um, and this went on for about two months because um, we share a desk. Mm -hmm. And eventually just went outside the one day between ups and confronted him about it. Because I can't, it's, it's very difficult to work with someone when they're sure. at the same desk when they're giving you the cold shoulder all the time. No, it does not make for a very friendly work day. So <clears throat> I uh, went outside, confronted him about it nicely. Um, just because I'm like, hey man, what, what's going on? You know, what, my, what did I do to you right. to cause, you know, to, to cause this, this tension? And he's like, dude, I just don't like it. I don't like the way that ta you talk. I don't like the way you talk to customers. I don't like the way, like the way you do things. And I'm like, all right, well, what? What are you talking about? And he didn't really have much in the way of specifics. He just didn't like me. And so that's when I was like, you know what, look, we need to work next to each other. We don't have to work together on stuff, but you know, we need to work next to each other. And we, we came to a bit of a detente in that we would be more uh that he would chill out on the uh jerkiness and that i also agreed to if he had any suggestions as a veteran car salesman to to give them to me and he said we didn't become friends or still didn't like each other and he actually left like two weeks later and went to another dealership but at least for that two weeks, it wasn't. It wasn't a hostile environment. Okay. Um. So, do you think that there was any possibilities that perhaps he may have considered you a threat to his workmanship or to his? I don't know. Maybe that. I. I. I It's not impossible, mm. you know, like everybody in that, and even in our industry, there's a lot of type A personalities in that room. Mm. A lot of people, a lot of personalities where you have to be able to deal with failure all the time. If you fail 70% of the time at selling a car, you're making a lot of money. Mm -hmm. um, the, the average close rate is only about 15 to 20%. So, you know, you're, you're getting a lot of no's, and so, which makes those yeses that much more important. Uh, I, but he had experience over me. He was doing well in it. I was doing okay in it. I, I really didn't like the job, ultimately, but, you know, I, I could be. Hmm. Never, never thought of it like that. Hmm. Um. 
what was the word that you used? It was a detente. De, detente. A detente. I'm yes. not familiar with that. What what exactly does that mean? So that's that is a now thirty year old term <laughs> used at when uh, it's actually there's it's a historical reference when Reagan and Gorbachev came together and got the United States and the Soviet Union at least talking in friendly terms. Oh, okay. As the lead up to ending the Cold War, where you know the, the United States started opening itself up a little bit to mm -hmm. the Russians and or to the Soviets, and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, it's it, just a it's an understanding, not necessarily a a peace, mm -hmm. as it were. You know, in the okay. reference of the Cold War, um, but it's at least it's an understanding that you know we need to. At least play nice together. We don't have to like each other, but we got to play nice. That's that's actually a good comparison for uh, your uh, conflict that you had there. It's uh, it's never an easy situation to be uh, working with someone that you either don't get along with or or someone that you uh, have uh, some kind of disagreement with, and to to be able to handle it in that manner, uh, to recognize okay that. Perhaps I have faults of my own and that uh, this person has faults as well, but to be able to come to so some sort of uh, a collaboration of how can we at least work, at least co coexist with each other uh, is, is uh, pretty commendable. So, all right, well, um, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it. One more. Oh, <laughs> um, no, I did. <laughs>